What's up guys, welcome back. I've been getting a lot of requests about doing some more healthy meal prep options. So today I've got you covered. I'll be showing you how to make one of my absolute favorite go-to meal prep recipes. This is my version of Borzen Garlic and Herb Chicken. We're plating this up with some rice, some asparagus, some cherry tomatoes. Comes together super quick and easy. It's perfect for a quick weeknight dinner or for your meal prep option. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Here we have some beautiful boneless, skinless chicken breast. You can use thighs, you can use salmon, you can do this with pork tenderloin. This recipe can be customized to whatever protein option you like. We've got some chicken broth, we have some cherry tomatoes, we've got asparagus, which again is optional. You can use broccoli or spinach in its place. We got some chives for garnish, one onion, and the star of the show today, which is the Borzen Garlic and Herb Cheese. They're not a sponsor, but they should be because I'm a huge fan, as you guys probably know if you've watched any of this channel. All right, so the first step for prep is to season our chicken. We're going down with my AP seasoning, which is an all-purpose seasoning. It's low sodium. If you haven't tried it, you can get it via the link in my description box. Or just use whatever your favorite all-purpose is at home. Really, guys, you can use whatever your favorite poultry seasoning is. My favorite poultry seasoning is this lemon bay seasoning right here. It's got a little lemon pepper kind of flavor profile to it with a little bit of Cajun or Creole-inspired flavors as well. And then we're going to use my girl Kimmy's. Yes, that much seasoning, which is basically a garlic butter seasoning, which is perfect for this recipe because we're making garlic butter boars and chicken. So we're gonna add a little bit of that. Season both sides adequately. All right, so for this, we're gonna use some asparagus as well. We're gonna kind of cut it on a bias or at an angle. We're gonna blanch the asparagus to basically pre-cook it before we add it in. Gonna make for a nice, good presentation and add some veggies to the mix. Again, guys, if you don't like asparagus, you can use whatever veggie you like. Spinach would work here, broccoli, broccolini, any kind of green veggie. All right, next up, we got some cherry tomatoes. These are gonna add some nice flavor, a little acidity to cut through some of the richness from the, the cheese that we're using. And it adds a nice bright red color to the presentation. We're gonna cut these into thirds. You can do it however you want to guys. You can leave them in halves if you want to, if they're a little bit smaller. No right or wrong way to do it. You don't even have to add them if you don't want to. Sun-dried tomatoes will work well here also. Red bell pepper. Get creative guys and use whatever you have in the fridge. All right guys, so now we're gonna do what's called blanching the asparagus. It's basically pre-cooking or par-cooking the asparagus to make sure that it's nice and tender when it goes in our sauce. So we got some water boiling. To the boiling water, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna simply add in our asparagus. Boil this for about two minutes or so. It'll start to turn a nice vibrant green color, at which point we'll remove it, add it to an ice bath to shock it and stop the cooking process. And that's just gonna help the vegetable cook a little bit easier or faster when we add it to our sauce. And next up we have our chicken. We're gonna go ahead and warm our skillet over medium high heat. Add a tablespoon or so of avocado oil, just enough to coat the bottom of our skillet. And then we're gonna add our chicken breast. Presentation side down first. Press down to make sure it's making maximum surface area contact. Always lay the meat away from you. And then press down. All right, so at this point, we're gonna cook the chicken about two to three minutes per side. Then we'll remove it, add it to a cooking sheet like this, and pop it in the oven at 400 to let it finish. While it's in the oven, we'll work on our sauce. So once the chicken has some beautiful color on one side, we're gonna flip it over and show the other side some love. All right, you guys know me, I'm not gonna miss an opportunity to butter baste some chicken. So we're going in with about two tablespoons of butter because butter makes everything better. Go ahead and make sure that that's nice and melted. Once the butter is mostly melted, we'll begin to baste the chicken. 
Just gonna add some more flavor to the situation. Chicken breast is pretty lean, so adding a little fat like butter will only help enhance the flavor. And then we can use the rest of that butter to add flavor to our sauce and our veggies we're about to saute here in a second. So after that, we're gonna kill the heat, let this cool down just a little bit while we remove our chicken, and let that finish in the oven. 165 degrees is what we're looking for for the internal temperature of the chicken breast. All right, so at this point, you wanna drain off any excess oil. You still want a little bit at the bottom to kind of, you know, cook the, the onions and the tomatoes and everything. So now we're going in with the diced onion. Put our heat on low, that way nothing burns or scorches. Tomatoes going in, that asparagus. We'll just start to saute this. As you can see, we got some great color contrast in there with the asparagus and the tomato. Got plenty of flavor from that chicken seasoning and the butter. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. Always season as you go, that way you're layering in flavor each step of the way. Now to kick things up a notch, we're going in with about a tablespoon or so of Dijon mustard, followed by a tablespoon of garlic paste or fresh garlic, whatever you got. Give that a good mix. We're working over medium low heat at this point. I'm gonna add just a teaspoon or so of flour to kind of help thicken up the sauce a bit since we're not using any cream today, we're using just chicken broth. That Dijon mustard adds a nice flavor profile to this sauce, guys. Definitely give that a try unless you hate Dijon mustard for some re weird reason. In comes a little all-purpose flour, and then we're gonna deglaze with that chicken broth. You just wanna cook that raw flour taste off for a second, literally 30 to 60 seconds or so. Then in comes the chicken broth. Bring that up to a boil, and you'll see your, st your sauce start to form up, at which point we'll add in the boars and cheese. As you can see, we reached a nice boil here. Everything's coming together beautifully. I'm gonna reduce the heat down to medium low. And now it's time to start adding in that delicious boars and garlic and herb cheese. Tons of flavor coming in right now. This stuff is great on crackers. If you're a charcuterie board fan, you gotta give this stuff a try. So at this point, I'm just gonna kill the heat and allow the residual heat in there to melt that boars and cheese right into the sauce. You can already see it's doing its job, looking and smelling amazing. You can taste as you go, adjust the flavor to your preference. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. We're gonna add a little parsley to brighten things up and a little freshness to the dish as well. And then finally, we're gonna season with salt and pepper to taste. We'll be good to go. All right, so after your chicken's had a few minutes to rest, we're gonna go ahead and slice this up. We're gonna slice it on a bias, make it look nice. Plate it right over top of the rice with those tomatoes and the asparagus. Gotta show you guys how juicy. Now, my friends, this is the part where I say brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Just going to hit it with a little bit of that sauce right on top. Plenty of sauce all around. Garnish it up with a little bit of that fresh chopped parsley. And you got yourself a nice, quick and easy dinner. 30 minutes or less. Perfect for meal prep. Relatively healthy. The only thing left to do is get in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, I found my fork. It's time to dig in here for the taste test. We got some chicken. Let me go ahead and make sure I get the perfect bite. Get a little rice, a little veggie. Come in for the chicken. 
Tell me the truth. Mm. What's up, guys? Welcome back. <laughs> I have no clue what I was going to say. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Been getting a lot of questions about 